Welcome back from Graphic Extras. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the uh, Squared Pick plugin. It's from uh, the plugin volume 5, Andrew's Plugins volume 5, and you can find it on the Graphic Extras website. Now, the plugins for Photoshop, PSP, 32 bit, and I'm just going to quickly show you the folder with all the plugins. There's all the selection, and I'm just going to demonstrate the Squared Pick plugin. It's an 8BF file, just needs to be installed in the plugins path. In this case, it's uh, for Photoshop CC, plugins, and so on. Right, just going to go now to Photoshop, and I've actually got the uh, dialog up already, and it's um, well, basically, just produces uh, little dots based on the underlying image. So, uh, as you can see here, there's the color of the hair. There's the colour of the dots, and there's the colour of the face. As you increase the size, of course you can increase the size lengthways, so, and then actually increase the size, of course I can just reduce that, so you can just see it goes up that way. Also of course, as it's a program called Squared, you can actually just generate it as a squared design, so there, again you can see the hair, you see the blocks. You can increase the number of uh, the, the actual squares. So you reduce it down. I'm just reducing it down to one or two. And in this case, you can actually increase it to oh, 268. It takes the average of the, obviously at that point, it takes the average and builds up the size of a block. You can combine it with the original image. So you can actually fade it. So you can see now the, uh, the patches just over the image. Go the other way as well. Great, very abstract designs, very quick and easy. Just going to change and show the exact different examples of using the different directions. You can also add, again, very abstract design there. You can uh, actually very abstract design in terms of uh, create sort of blocks of different uh, parts of virtually Picasso like. Um, you can also add noise into the image, and there's a noise control. You can also add additional noise, which creates a sort of smearing effect. That creates quite an interesting uh, smear effect. You can also vary the size of, randomize the uh, size here using the vary command. Also, there's a factor option, and I'm just going to reset it now because that's. Uh, Increase the size slightly and just increase the factor and you can see the original design there, the hair, it's actually now more red. You can do the green, that make it more green. Also you can add colour to the image as well via these controls down here and that actually increase, adds colour to all of the uh, pixels. You can also apply colour blocks instead of, now just reset it so you can see the difference there color blocks and that just randomizes the color so you can just see different color blocks instead of uh, using the source image as with all the plugins from graphic extras there's um, various blend modes which are basically like the uh, Photoshop blending modes so you can just apply differences etc etc there's a whole range of different edge settings again best to see them when you increase the size so I'm just going to increase the size there and you can randomize that as well. So grayscale, sort of faded design, more abstract sort of patchy color designs. Also you can buy it using effects modes, which basically takes the source effect and actually uses a blur or as a smear. You can also apply various other extreme settings. And I'm just going to click extreme at this point. Great, it's very unusual designs. And I'm just going to click OK at this point just to quickly show you the plugin applied. And the plugin also has got post processing tools which you can apply additional millions of different gradient color overlays onto the image. Anyway, that's a basic quick run through of the Squarepick plugin. It's from the Andrews Plugins Volume 5 set.